Right, welcome to this review video. It's for a set of brushes. I've never reviewed uh, brushes before on the channel, but I've been sent uh, a set through here uh, by James from Siege Studios. And it's a new project that they're uh, in association with its artist Opus Brushes here. And it's going to go live on Kickstarter on the 14th of April. And so keep a look out for announcements uh, from them. But in this video, I've been sent a full set here. So to give you an idea of what to expect uh, from this set. This is high level professional brushes. Uh, a lot of people have asked what brushes do I use to paint my miniatures. I usually go for Games Workshop brushes. I've never really had any trouble with them. Uh, they seem to work fine. Uh, but I'm quite fussy about brushes and I've looked at this set here and I've been using the brushes as well actually uh, for some painting projects as well and uh, this is a very good set indeed. So it's just going to review, talk about the product here and give you all the information and then you can keep a lookout uh, for this project in the future. So I believe it comes like you buy it as a set. Uh, so nice wooden uh, set here, really is beautifully crafted, very nicely put together. And then the set contains uh, five brushes, like so. So that's the website there, it'll be on the screen as well, artist opus, or artist-opus.com. Check them out. If you go on there, it's, uh, they're asking you for an email. And then when the Kickstarter goes live on the 14th of April, then they'll send you, they'll email you all the information there. And Kickstarters usually get some pretty good deals on there. Uh, when companies try and kickstart and get going, they give you some great offers if you support them up front. So that's what Kickstarter's about. Uh, I'm sure there'll be different levels and options to choose from on there. So uh, basically just go onto the website and then enter your email. That's all you have to do. And then they'll let you know uh, the information when it comes out later on, uh, on the 14th of April onwards. So... Uh, anyway, nice box set here, beautifully put together, uh, foam packaging uh, for the brushes. And then this here is like a, a brush soap uh, for cleaning your brushes. So I found that one of the biggest, the two ways I've found to destroy brushes, talking about brush care, two ways to destroy brushes I've found is uh, dry brushing over a rough surface, like a base with like sand on it, you scrub the brush over the top of that, you're gradually going to destroy it. There's not much you can do about that. Uh, but the other danger is getting paint up inside the join between uh, the metal here and uh, the actual uh, brush itself. If you get paint clogged up in there, you can go hard and the brush will start falling out. So this soaps to help you uh, wash your brushes properly uh, and keep them clean. And then if you're able to look after them properly, um, then they'll last a lot longer and if you're going to get a set like this, a decent set of brushes, which this is, I'll zoom in in just a moment, uh, then you're going to want to look after them. They provide you with the appropriate uh, soap there to help you maintain these, keep them looking good. But So nice fine brush, not ke so keen about brushes with the like the triangle sort of shape, I feel a bit strange in the hand but this one's just sort of a uh, not too thick here, looking good, this is a number one size one, there's a size two, I'll zoom, we'll zoom in and take a look at the nibs uh, in just a moment as well and then there's a zero here as well and then a double zero, this one's a nice brush for finer detail and then a triple zero here which the uh, brush isn't so long but it's it's gone down to a very fine tip indeed so not so much larger brushes in here, so I reckon I'm going to continue using like base coat, large brush, and so on. Get those from Games Workshop. But for your fine, finer detail, uh, for sure, then these brushes look exceptionally good. They do look very good indeed. We'll take a closer look now. So I've, I've lined all five of the brushes up here, and you can see they're needle sharp uh, with the point. Whenever I buy a brush, uh, I go to the shop buy Games Workshop brushes. Uh, I, I check the tip of it. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get a bad one. These ones have been handcrafted, so I've been told, uh, and it's Kalinsky Sable as well, so it's the finest stuff that you can get. So this is a this is a top-end brush that you're getting here, and all five of these, the tips of them are perfect, just looking at them here. So they're looking very, very good. So uh, size uh, two, this one on the left, then size one, then zero, double zero, 
and then triple zero just there as well. And it's for these you're going to use your finest of details here. And you want to keep these good, keep the tip very nice. Uh, but these have been handcrafted, so they're checked by hand as well to make sure these tips are good and they've done a good job. These look very, very well uh, produced here. And then I always hang on to these, especially if you're traveling somewhere. Uh, sometimes I travel and take my brushes with me, then I keep these and use those uh, to keep the uh, brushes good. There's other tips, sort of sharing a few tips here in this video as well for keeping your brushes good. When I wash a brush out, there's one habit you can get, and that is you think you've got paint stuck up inside here, so you scrub the brush out on the bottom of your water pot. That's not a good idea. Uh, you can damage the structure of the bristles just there. So I wash the, uh, the paint out in water, but not letting the bristles touch the bottom of the pot, and then take the brush out, and then roll it across tissue uh, there to absorb the paint, put it back in and wash it again just making sure all the paint's taken out. The idea is you shouldn't let paint get up uh, in between there, but if you do, just wash it out and be careful. But uh, I'm just giving these tips, because a set like this, if you're looking to look after them and for them to last you, you can get 10 years out of these easily, if not more, if you're very careful. So uh, that's the review. As I said, I've used them, very impressed with them. They're a decent set of brushes. Uh, at this stage, I've just been asked to tell you that they're on Kickstarter. They'll be going on Kickstarter 14th of April. So check out the website, artistsopus.com. I'll link it here in the video, or you can just uh, look it up there. And then you just put in your email address, and then they'll send you all the information, all the promos, and so on, details about that when that goes out on Kickstarter. But keep a look out for these brushes. They've been endorsed by lots of uh, different artists and uh, I give them my full endorsement as well. But uh, check out the website, uh, that's the review. Uh, if you've got any other tips about how you look after your brushes and so on, just start, start that discussion and leave that in the comment section below as well. But that's the review for these Artist Opus uh, brushes here, set of five. Keep a look out for them on Kickstarter in the future. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.